Dustin and Gastric Zero Three study is a multi-cohort trial that uh, explored the combination of TDXD as uh, first-line therapy in HER2-positive gastroesophageal cancer. We presented data from the part two, which is a combination of TDXD uh, with capecitabine, capecitabine plus TDXD and pembrolizumab, TDXD pembrolizumab, um, or TDXD monotherapy. Uh, it, this was a six cohort study, multi-center global study, enrolling patients with HER2 positive, IHC3 plus or IHC2 plus fish, uh, fish positive patients um, by local testing. So central testing was performed, but not required, irrespective of PDL1. What we saw is that TDXD was feasible in first line setting. The response rate was approximately 50%. Uh, and uh, what we saw also that fluoropyrimidines are important. Combination with capecitabine numerically appeared to be to do better in terms of response, irrespective of PDL1 status but also the progression-free survival. BFS with TDXT, capecitabine combination with 20 months. So that's hopeful and it's feasible with uh, good uh, treatment delivery. Combination of with pembrolizumab with full dose TDXT and capecitabine unfortunately was too much. It was too toxic with higher rate of grade three and greater side effects as adverse events such as uh, chemo side effects, but it also uh, uh, interstitial lung disease uh, with combination with pembrolizumab. So uh, the efficacy in that arm is difficult to interpret because there was not sufficient drug delivery and the median number of cycles was quite low. Um, but, uh, you know, we, what we're doing is uh, we're looking at combination of TDXT at 5.4 mg per kg plus capecitabine and pembrolizumab. Um, and so far, so good. We're seeing uh, promising safety uh, and efficacy. The safety is not an issue. There were no treatment related um, ILD and, uh, and the efficacy was uh, hopeful as well. What we see also is that bo uh, both of the pembrolizumab containing arm, it appears to be that CPS score is important. The uh, most patients uh, had PDL1 testing, but not all. But in a cohort that had PDL1 testing, um, there was a, a, a trend toward higher uh, response rate and better PFS, um, numerically at least, with uh, PDL1 positive patients.